All right guys, so we've got something a little bit different here. So this is actually a true GMT dress watch. Not something I've seen before. Don't think they're pretty common. Let me know if you know any others apart from this one. So the one we're checking out here is the Vario Empire True GMT. And we're going to be checking it out on the bracelet as well as these two straps as well. So we'll get right down into it now. Here it is. So it's a really good looking piece, I think. You can clearly see we've got that Art Deco inspired design. So this is available in a few different colours, the dials. So check out the link in the description if you want to see all the different ones. It's also available with different strap options as well. But you don't have to choose between this bracelet and the strap. You do actually get the bracelet included as well as an option of whatever strap colour you want. And again, there's quite a few to choose from. And you can also pick up some other straps that they do as well, including this one. So with this one, you actually have to buy this separately. This isn't one of the options available, but I will show you one of them in a minute. They both have the same Barrio branded buckle though. And it's German leather, this one, as well as being quick release as well. But now I'll show you one of the ones you can actually get as the free option with the watch. So here it is. You can see it's got a slightly different look to it with the different kind of texture on the leather. But again, really soft and supple. But this one is actually Italian leather as opposed to German with the other one. But again, we've still got a quick release as well. And the stitching is also really nicely done. So you've got the contrast stitching on this one. And again, that same Vario buckle I was on about before. But let's get back to the watch now. So before we go into any more detail, first of all, we'll go over the dimensions. So we've got a diameter of 38 mil, thickness of 11.5, lug width of 20, and then the all important lug to lug is coming in at 45.5. So some pretty nice dimensions there especially that nice compact lug to lug. When it comes to the weight on the bracelet, with all the links included, it's coming in at 135 grams. And then on the strap, it's coming in at 76. So now let's take a closer look at that bracelet and talk about that in a bit more detail. So we've got a mixture of brushed and polished on there. It looks like they're individual pieces, but they are just single piece links. But you do have a couple of half links there. So sizing won't be too bad because it is actually a butterfly clasp. So that will help a bit. When it comes to the case back, we've got a really nice design on that. So it's that Art Deco style. And I think it's supposed to be like the Empire State Building or something like that. And you can probably also see as well, we have actually got a quick release on that bracelet. So that is a nice touch. When it comes to the specs on the case back, you can see we've got designed in Singapore, made in Japan. And then according to the website, once they receive them, they inspect them again in Singapore before shipping them out. So I think that's a first for Vario with this watch. Then we've got 50 meter water resistance, automatic movement, and then the fact that we've got sapphire crystal, which we'll be testing in a bit. And it is a screw down case back as well. Now moving on to the head of the watch, you can see we've got that onion style crown there, as well as also having drilled lugs, which is pretty unusual considering we've got quick release on the bracelet and on the strap as well. But I guess if you want to use some different straps, that might come in handy. When it comes to the finishing, again, we've got a mixture of brushed and polished. So brushed on the sides and then polished on the top of the lugs and also on that bezel as well. Nice angular lugs as well. So it does help conform to rest nicely. And the end looks in great pretty nicely too. I think it's just a really nice overall look to it. Just even the case has got some kind of art deco feel to it, I think. But now let's get onto the star of the show with this one. And that is the dial. So I did actually check out the original Empire a few years back now. And I think this is arguably even better looking than that one. I really like the way they've integrated that 24 hour disc. As I say, I think it makes it look even better than the original. But let me know, what do you think? And if you're interested in checking out that review of the previous version, I'll leave a link to that up in the top as well. So if we get a closer look at this, you'll be able to see that disc with the 24 hour function is actually raised above the rest of the dial. So again, adds a bit of depth as well. And we've also got applied indices too. Again, with that Art Deco style, perhaps it would have been nice if they'd carried that on onto the 24 hour section but maybe that'd be a little bit awkward to see with it being smaller though. But now we're zoomed in, you can see a lot more of that detail on that dial. So obviously that really nice pattern in the center, but then something you might not have noticed when we were initially looking at it. Now we're zoomed in, you can see we've got those fairly subtle circles actually in the outer part of the dial as well. Not always visible, so anyone that like catches them in certain angles, you will see it. So again, just an added extra little bit of detail. Then when it comes to the hands, we've got these really nice skeletonized hands for the hours and the minutes. And then with that GMT hand, we've got that triangle and then that needle second hand. One slight issue I have noticed though, when I've been using this, is because the hour hand and the GMT hand are basically the same length, they do kind of clash a bit when they're near each other. So it can be a little bit difficult seeing them both. Something you get used to, but it's something to be aware of. I think if they'd made that hour hand a little bit longer, so it was just touching the edge of those indices on the outer section, I think that would have been better, would have helped distinguish between the two a bit and stop them clashing so much. 
but other than that, I think they've pretty much nailed it with the dial. I really appreciate that there's no needless text at the bottom, which you get on some other watches. But now let's test whether we have actually got sapphire crystal, like it says on the back, using that ever trusty diamond selector 2. And yep, we have got sapphire crystal, so always good to see. So obviously because this is a dress watch, we're not going to be doing a loom test because we don't have any loom. Also, we're not going to be checking out the bezel because there's no rotating bezel or anything. It's just a fixed one. So now we're going to talk about the movement. And like I said in the intro, this is a true GMT. So we've got the Miota 9075. If you haven't seen one of these before, they are quite interested in the way they work. So if we pop out the crown, it's just a push-pull crown to the first position. And then we can independently move that hour hand. And you'll see it will actually jump to each hour. And you can move it backwards and forwards. So this would normally be the way you change the date on this as well. But obviously we don't have a date window on here. So that isn't an issue. Because if you don't wear these very often, that is one of the slight things with the 9075. Changing the date can be a bit of a pain if you don't wear it regularly. And you have quite a few other watches that you wear. So I personally don't mind that this doesn't have the date function. I don't think there's a way they could have got it in there without ruining the overall look, I think. But again, that might be an issue for some people, the fact that it's not using it. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think? At least we don't have a ghost date position because of that. So now if we pull it out to the second position, you can see the second hand stops. So we have hacking. And then obviously we can just change the time. And then that GMT hand will move with it as well. And that is the only way of moving the GMT hand. So you set the GMT hand first and then set the hour for the local time after that. And then obviously we just push the crown back in, second hand will re-engage. So as I say, if you've not tried out one of these movements before, it can be a little bit different to what you're used to. Once you get used to it, it works pretty well. Oh, I've just remembered, I completely forgot to mention, we have actually got, on the case and on the bracelet, a scratch resistant coating. So that will help protect it from scratches, and it seems to be working pretty well. As you can see, I've got no scratches on here at all, on the case or on the bracelet. A couple of little smudges and fingerprints, but no scratches. And I've had this sat outside on walls and stuff doing pictures and bits and pieces for these outdoor shots. And again, it's not got any scratches whatsoever. So seems to be holding up pretty well. I'd like to see more brands doing this because it does make a big difference. I've only ever seen it on titanium watches before. I've not had any with stainless steel that have it, but I think it works well. So now you're probably wondering how much is all this going to cost you? So I'm going to be honest with you, it's not cheap, but given what you're getting, I think it's pretty much on par with a lot of other micro brands around the same kind of area and using the same movement. And I can't actually think of any other true GMTs that address watches apart from this one off the top of my head. If you know any others, again, let me know down in the comments. So there's actually a discount code available for this at the moment. So if you use the discount code EMPIREGMT8, you'll get $55 off. So the price with that discount included is $642, £506, €589, Euros. but these are very limited edition as well. They're only making 60 of each colour. So I think for the overall package you're getting, that's not too bad. You're getting the bracelet included, as well as a strap colour of your choice, both of which have got quick release as well, not something you always see, especially on bracelets. And something else you don't always see is that scratch resistant coating as well, on the bracelet and on the case. But again, the star of the show is that really lovely Art Deco style dial. And it's just really nicely finished. There's no issues with the finishing or the build quality or anything. Probably because it's made in Japan. So I know that'll be important to some people more than others. But that is a first for Vario watches as well. But before you make up your mind whether you want to pick one up or not, you probably want to know what it's like on wrist. So I'll show you what it's like on the bracelet first. And then I'll show you on the two different straps as well. And then we'll go over the pros and cons and then wrap this up. So here it is on my 7 inch wrist, and as I say, I think it looks really good. Initially I wasn't too sure about this bracelet, I wasn't sure if it suited the watch or not. I was also a little worried I wasn't going to be able to get it to fit properly, but with those couple of half lengths I've managed to get a good fit on it. But again, your mileage may vary with that one depending on your wrist size. That's just the way it is with butterfly style clasps, that's why they're not really my favourite. But I do love all the little polished details on it as well, just catching the light, as well as those polished tops of the lugs. And that bezel as well. It just It's a really smart looking piece I think. And it gives it a totally different look compared to the straps as well. So stick around and I will show you on them in a minute as well. 
So you could say it's a touch on the thick side for a dress watch, but I think it's just about all right. When it's on this bracelet especially though, it feels a little bit more like a Garda kind of sports watch almost. That's why I like that they give you the bracelet and the strap as well in the package. So you can get two totally different kind of looks and feels from them. So I'll show you what it's like on one of the straps now. Starting with the one that you will actually get with the package. So that's the Italian leather one that I showed you earlier on in the review. So this blue one, I don't think it's the best match with this dial in my opinion. But when it comes to the quality of it, it's great. And the fit is really nice. No breaking period whatsoever. I do like the contrasting stitching too. But again, I'd probably be going for a different colour. Something a bit more muted, just so that dial can stand out. So when I've not been wearing it on the bracelet, and I've actually had it on a strap, I've had it on the other one, which I'll show you now. And here it is on that strap now. So again, this one isn't included in the packet. This is one you have to buy separately. But they do do a similar colour one in that Italian leather, if you do want to go for that, with the strap that's included in the actual package. But that is the beauty of this, because there's so many different strap colours, and dial colours, you can mix and match and find something that suits you perfectly. But if you do want to pick up this particular strap, I'll leave a link to this down in the description as well. So you can check that one out and pick that up, either for this watch or another watch. Because Vario straps are really nice. And again, if you check out the review of the original Empire, I think I actually feature some other straps from Vario in there on other watches as well, if you want to check that out. But as I said, this watch isn't perfect. The one thing that I would probably change is that hour hand that I mentioned earlier. Just make it slightly longer so it sticks out a little bit past the GMT hand so they don't clash when they're over each other because the hour hand can get somewhat lost when that's the case. But other than that, I can't really fault it. Some people might say the lack of the date window with this movement is an issue for me personally. I think with this watch, they made the right call there. And because the way it works, it doesn't actually have a ghost function so you don't really notice it. So you get all the benefits of a true GMT without the negative of this particular movement, that lack of being able to set the date quickly. So if you don't wear the watch for a while, that can be an issue. I've experienced with some of my other watches that do have this movement in. I guess another minor thing, I personally would just get rid of the drilled lugs, because you've got quick release on the bracelet and on the strap. So unless you're planning on using different straps, that's not really needed in my opinion. But again, it depends what straps you're gonna use. Another minor one could be that crown. If you do bite your nails, you might struggle to get that crown out because you do kind of need to get your nail behind it to pull it out. So I'm struggling here to find negatives bar that slight issue with the hour hand and the GMT hand. Everything else is probably not going to be an issue for a lot of people. It isn't really an issue for me. It's just things I think I should probably point out because it might for some people. I definitely think the positives outweigh the negatives with this one. So if you are still interested in picking one up, don't forget to use that discount code. Empire GMT5 to get $55 off. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.